What's up beauties? Today we're going to talk about three different ways that you can breathe some life into your top knot. If you're like me, you probably end up with your hair like this a few times a week and are looking for a way to make it a little more cute, a little more interesting, and I have three ways for you to do that. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is actually super simple. Most of us grab our pony once we have it up and we twist it and we wrap it around itself and end up with something like this. But if you wanna make your top knot a little more fluffy, if you wanna make it a little bigger because maybe you don't have a lot of hair like me or maybe your hair is thin like mine, then what you wanna do is instead of twisting it around itself, you wanna let it keep its body and just grab the tail of your hair and very lightly wrap it around just at the tail, letting the top do whatever it's gonna do. And then literally just take that tiny little bit that you have in your fingers from your tail and secure that. You should be left with something like this and then all you have to do is tuck in any ends that escaped when you were messing with it. And then it'll look something like this. This is actually the way I like mine, sort of like on a slant, has a little bit of character. Mine will move around a little bit and change throughout the day a tiny bit. See if you do that, it might open up a little. But if you want something more secure, once you have this sort of happening, you can take one more bobby pin, grab this part here that's moving around, hook it with your bobby pin, and then just bring it to the back. And that will give it a little more security so that it's not gonna open up and close. And then that is going to give you a much bigger bun uh, and much more life to your bun. Okay, so another thing that you can do to make your bun a little more interesting is to braid it before you actually secure it. So, depends on the braid you like. I'm gonna show you both ways I do it. So just take your hair, divide in three sections, and just do a really rough braid. And then once you've completed your braid, if you like a tighter look, then just wrap it around itself. That'll just give your bun these sort of like textury bumps from the braid. And you can secure that. Or in the same vein of the first look we did, you can also braid your hair and then really pull it out, make it more rough and full. Decide which way it looks best, so mine probably looks cutest going around the front. And then secure the end with a pin. And if it's really sticking out the way this one is, I personally don't mind that, but if you want it to be a little more secure, take another bobby pin and just pick from some of the pieces. And put a pin in to hold it down, like that. You can also do the same thing with a fishtail. Once you have it more than halfway down, you can pull it loose. You do want to leave some room at the end so that when you pull, you don't run out of space. So you pull that. And then you place it where you think it looks best. And then take another pin. Securing it to your head at the back. Okay, the last way that I'll show you is take out the whole front section of your hair. And clip it away. Before putting your hair in a ponytail. Make your top knot whichever way you like. And take this front section, and there's a few different ways you can do this. So the first way is if you just want to have some volume at the front, you just don't want it tight, 
take this front piece, hold it so that you're getting some body in your hair, and then wrap the rest of your hair around your bun as well. So then you sort of end up with like a more voluminous, more like a victory roll-ish at the front. The other thing you can do with your front section is to braid it. And pull your braid looser. And you can wrap the braid around the bun base too. Then you sort of get a braid going into the bun. So that's it you guys, that's three different ways that you can upgrade your top knot. If you end up trying one or liking one, then leave me a comment below and I'll see you guys on the next one.